Good morning everyone. Well, today I'm going to show you some really different thing from the content. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna make it right. I'm gonna tell so don't get excited or don't get shocked, okay? So I'm going, we're going to make today an Ayurvedic mask. I'll show you a little bit of my spa day at home. So basically here I have natural homemade curd which is yogurt homemade one with turmeric this is step number one okay so basically what i do let me try to see if you find the perfect place i love to put it on my under eyes under eye bags and usually under eyes they become slightly darker as well what is the nice thing about this mask? It's because of the brightening properties. If you have those dark spots because of pimples, it just helps to remove. So basically my skin was clean before all this. I washed it, removed all the remaining oil and stuff. And I just got a complete, even off around the lips, inside of here, forehead, and all around. Stay there. Oh, probably music. <laughs> and, but it has to be proper. Especially under eyes. Done. So nice. I'll stay twenty minutes. See you in a bit. Basically, try to remove all the hair over here because you know we don't have the chance to go to a beauty saloon and now with all this thing so quarantine and spa lockdown and spa at home so yeah so this is what I've been using fit see all the hair before and after so I apply, I don't like to use razor blade here, apply and I use this to spread and I'm going to do on the entire arm. <laughs> Wash by Himalaya in face wash. As I told you, it's an Ayurvedic spa for the day. So here we go. Da -da -da. So make sure I remove everything and dry the face. How does it look? 
So there are yet a few spots, but it's fine. We just get it removed and wash. Perfect. So third step, I'm using this amazing coffee, organic coffee mask by Nimli. I hope you, I think you guys have already heard of me, Nimli. I really like them. So they're vegan, cruelty free. And I really like what I like about, about Nimli products is their real smell, nature smell, right? So it's like the fragrant coffee, it's real coffee basically. So it's very smooth, you can see. So I usually, even though it's a body scrub, I like to apply on my face as well. So what I do, I like to, I like to mix a little bit of this coffee scrub with oil because mostly it's a little bit powderish like this. So I like to kind of do my blends. So I like to take either coconut, coconut oil or any other oil which I have and I like. So for skin mostly coconut oil, sesame oil. And I make a small little paste. This looks so nice but the effect is amazing. And then I just go all around applying. It's an exfoliation, so make sure you apply, especially on the lips. Why exfoliation is so important? To remove old skin cells, right? You wanna Naturally, our body already leaves shreds away old skin cells, but we just want to give an extra help. And the coffee activates circulation as well. So, under the eyes, I usually never press so much because I was given exclusive tips from amazing professionals not to be so harsh under the eyes because the skin is very fragile. So basically, I'm gonna exfoliate. Circular movements, I concentrate on the chin, on the nose. Yes. And then I'm gonna stay some time here so I can, um, the skin can take your time it's on time and absorb the nutrients. This guys, for me, feels so good because like, I feel in touch with nature. Great. So I'll give some time, I'll come back to you. So basically, I just wanna show you guys the after. It's much brighter and I feel like much lighter also. So the whole small small dots are gone. Yay! A little pinkish. Hope you guys liked it.